Good morning gamers, it is your boy Chief Gamer 69 here and my god, let's flash back to 2008, Xbox 360, you're playing with your mates, Call of Duty, you're hitting 360 no scopes, Halo, whatever you want to say, you're having the time of your life. Next console comes out, Xbox slightly slumbers, they stumble, they tie their shoelaces together, they trip, they fall, they break their nose, but they're not quite dead. Then the PS5 and the Xbox, whatever it's called, comes out and it probably tells you how important that was because I can't even remember the name. And what do they do? They fumble and they break both their legs and now they're just this limp company called xbox in a wheelchair unable to move but somehow has still got great products that they are putting at risk really now why am i making this video because xbox to me is a special place in my heart yes after the xbox 360 i got a ps4 and a ps5 and yeah i was a turncoat i accept that but the xbox 360 to me is still the highlight of my gaming career bro i love that so much i have so many fond memories with my parent well with my dad playing games as a kid playing with my friends playing as i get older that sort of stuff and they're just fucking screwing the pooch guys they're screwing the the pooch so badly it's tragic if the xbox was owned by not microsoft and a business that had less money they would have folded 20 years ago bro it's terrible now if you've not seen xbox will shut down red falls arcane austin hi fi's rush tango game so hi fi rush obviously a very popular game i have had the pleasure of playing it i thought it was a great game but me personally i don't quite get the um artistic side to it you know what i mean my games are um i prefer are a bit more like adult i would say now hi fi rush is not a bad game but it's just not exactly who the fuck is that my gaming career is more or single player you know realistic games like that and i did have a fun time with it but i didn't complete it but they're shutting down arcane austin now arcane austin more importantly arcane austin did uh redfall which crumbled you know like a digestive biscuit which you've left in your cup of tea for more than a second you know it, it dissipated it went it pff, vamoosh your boosh however one thing i'm worried about is dishonored dishonored one and two yeah dishonored one is probably one of my favorite games of all time dishonored two is just great as well i love them both the the way you can do whatever you want and kill do and don't kill you know what i mean these powers it's fantastic the fact that there's been no Dishonored 3 just shows how delusional Xbox are and how thick and dumb dumb they are. Yeah, okay, Dishonored, um, Death of the Outsider was still fun because it was the same game mechanics, I get that. However, it's just not Dishonored 3, was it? You know what I mean? It was 2.5, bro. But if you've seen, Microsoft is basically uh, screwing the poop. So not only have they got rid of some of their best games, they're going to increase the Game Pass price. <laughs> which, you know, considering that they've not added anything better, it's just going to be an absolute flump. I just want to come to what Angry Joe said. Uh, I love Angry Joe. I think his videos are brilliant. He's basically saying, we want Microsoft to explain to them us what is going on. So they bought all these studios and just shut them down. You're better off just leaving them. Let them do their own thing and then they will still pump out games. Just might be longer. Why have you bought them just to screw the pooch like this? Just in case you, you know, weren't already deluded enough by Xbox, Brad Hildebrand put on LinkedIn, who worked for Xbox, this came in the mail today. I mean, I appreciate the thought, but this is also the company that just laid me off. And they send him a swag package. Like, he's a YouTuber who's just got a sponsor. Like, all right, we'll let you go. We won't give you, you know, a, a, any more work. But what? We'll make up hit. What about this bag, eh? This bag that's been stuck in storage for 12 years. Yeah, I know. It's an old school one. Look at it. It's got the Xbox, like the first Xbox logo. Yeah, pre pretty cool, eh? Hey, do you want it? Not really, no. I'd like my job back. And I love this. So the game project manager at Tango throws more than shade at Microsoft because obviously Microsoft said, if you've not seen as well, they want to focus on indie games that are going to bring in awards, things like that. Hi Fi Rush brought in a bath there. It brought in something else, a load of cool other looking ones, a few Asian looking ones as well. Oh, I might be wrong, that might be me just being deluded. And loads of awards, but that wasn't enough for them. It wasn't enough for Microsoft. This game brought in so many awards, did so well, success in all departments, and bang, we'll just get rid of him. Who, ca who cares? No one's going to buy a high five rush too. One thing that will uh, probably scare you even more, Xbox founders say Xbox is dead and it's now Microsoft gaming. Xbox took on too much and has never finished the Beth Bethesda integration because they were so big and now have Activision to deal with so they couldn't deal with bethesda they were like shit we have so much cash to spend let's just buy another one let's buy bethesda i mean sorry let's buy activision you know call of duty one of the biggest games ever ever so somehow people buy it you know don't get me wrong call of duty is some of the highlight of my you know gaming years with my friends but dead bro it's dead in the water like that animal has been shot and brutalized so much you can't even eat from it anymore it's just lying there screwed the pooch i keep saying it because they've screwed the pooch so long time xbox employees have basically said um he's had lengthy conversations 
conversations with a bunch of founders and it's no longer Xbox, it's just Microsoft. Big corporate piggy wiggies sticking their oar in, sticking their ball sack in the pudding, making it taste nicer and all they've done is just added salt. Made it unbearable, Gordon Ramsay sticking a finger in it and going, what the fuck is, it's fucking raw, it's, it's raw. And I'm thinking the exact same thing. I mean, how can you bite off more than you chew when it comes to gaming? They've ruined Bethesda, you know what I mean? They're getting rid of all these important things. We've got, you know, TV shows coming out like Fallout that are making me so hungry, so hungry for more Fallout. I'm playing Fallout 4 and I've had a good time. I've put about 20 hours probably into it in the past couple of weeks. And I tell you now, I've really like, it's like, it's fun. But it's not great. Like, I'm getting bored. I played Fallout New Vegas, my favourite Fallout game, and I love it. But it's so short. You know, it's a lot shorter. I want something I can sink hours and hours into, and there's nothing in the pipeline. There's nothing. Bethesda just brought out Starfield, and some people like it, some people don't. I've only played it on Game Pass. It wasn't, like, it's fun, but it's not, it's not hooked me in. I put probably around five to ten hours in. People will say you need to put 50 in. Bro, I ain't got 50 hours spare these days. You know what I mean? I need to be certain that what I'm sinking my teeth through is going to be big and juicy, like a big fat steak. But Sarah... Sarah Bond, uh, because obviously, what's he called? Um, Phil Spencer is too scared to come out of his hidey hole but after everything that's done. He's not been seen since this has happened. They've got, you know, someone else on here. Let's, let's get Sarah Bond in. Everyone knows who Sarah Bond is, right? No. She, she's got dressed and niced up and they've played a clip. So I'm just going to play it. I'm only going to play you the important parts, but you'll understand the general message is that she doesn't have a fucking clue what she's on about. She smoked a big fat doink before this and her brain is just scrambled. She has no idea what she's smelling right now. <laughs> One of the things that was most upsetting both to Xbox gamers and to em employees is that you know, one of the Shuttered Studios in particular just created a hit game, did really well on Game Pass in, in terms of engagement and won a ton of awards. I mean, shouldn't succeeding in that way ensure the future of, of a studio? You know, one of the things I really love about the games industry is it's a creative art form. And it means that the situation and what success is for each game and studio is also really unique like there's no one size fits all absolutely she's already shot i, I was gonna let, play this whole clip and then speak but i just can't i'm too invigorated by what her eyes are blinking like she's having an epileptic fix she's clearly nervous and doesn't know what to say she's not been prepped you know this isn't uh, she's not done her homework for an exam and she sat there and she's shitting herself everyone's saying that different if what she said basically is each studio has different quote you know different targets just like in normal jobs so this indie game Game that was not expected to be really popular make you know win ton of awards has won ton of awards and yet they're still not happy and then they say yeah Redfall was a shit show I get that you know that doesn't mean you should shut them down you know what I mean mistakes happen look at uh, Suicide Squad I'm nervous for Rocksteady right now I think that ship is sinking you know what I mean that is gone bro that 200 million in losses they just announced 200 million in losses if you did 200 pounds in losses at your job you'd probably be a bit nervous that your head was going to be like 200 million I don't even know how many zeros that is off the top of my head. Each business has different quotas, different targets, and yet they got rid of one of the, you know, one of the studios that I would probably presume they didn't quite expect to reach the heights that it did. To it for us, um, and so we look at each studio, each game team, and we look at a whole variety of factors when we're faced with sort of making decisions and, and trade-offs like that. Uh, but it all comes back to our long-term commitment to the games we create, the devices we build, the services, and ensuring that we're setting ourselves up to be able to deliver on those promises. What a load of rubbish! What a load of rubbish! It's like when you try, you know, you have them really, really um, clever friends, and you ask them a question about something that they're knowledgeable on, and they don't quite know the answer, so they just sort of spew a load of rubbish. And because you're their friend, you just go, oh, yeah, that was good, mate. Cheers. You know, really, they don't have Scooby Dooby Wooby what they're talking about. Sarah Bond probably doesn't even know what Xbox they're currently out in the market right now. Xbox is sinking, and it's sinking fast. Uh, she handles strategy, product development, and business. Someone who absolutely should have prepared an answer to that question considering it's exactly what everyone said she's the xbox president my main point i once well i wrote a script when i was first starting out i used to write a few scripts and then it never quite came to i wasn't too sure what my my i'm not the cleverest guy and i didn't want to delve into something but now i've got a bit more confident i just talk about anything i like because you know why not xbox game pass is ruining ruining 
gaming. Just like Netflix and Prime has not ruined, but it's changed the film and TV and everything how we consume media, Xbox is doing the same with gaming because it's, it's this short form of content. I tell you now, if I had bought Starfield full price, I would have put a lot more time into it. But because it was on Game Pass, I never felt any obligation. I paid a tenner and I went, I'll give it a go and see what it's about. Might enjoy it, might not. I got a bit into it, you know, played it a few evenings. I was like, oh, this is fine, this is fine. Eventually, I just didn't play it. I was playing other stuff. I was playing Doom Eternal because that was on there because that was more fun. These sort of quick turnover over games going straight to Game Pass just shouldn't be like that and yet I, I understand Starfield also did really well in terms of sales off Game Pass and that's fine if you've got a bunch of cash you know what I mean I would also too but if I can save myself $50 50 pound $50 whatever you're spending and just play it for a month see if I really like it and then if I don't I could just well, I only spent a tenner on it I don't need to finish it then that'll be fucking perfect I'm telling you now Xbox Game Pass is causing hiccups to gaming and it's changing how we consume media soon I reckon they won't even have an Xbox console it will just be Microsoft or something like that or they'll bring one out a year you know what I mean like an iPhone and it's like the same thingy but you just sort of get one because it's like oof, you know you get one every few years once yours is you know exploding and cracked to shit like someone shot it with a BB gun it's just kind of sad and I think Game Pass is a great thing but I also think it's really really doing a lot of harm to gaming and look I'm passionate because I want the best games to be out there and Hi-Fi Rush even though it wasn't my cup of tea I understand it was a great game that people enjoyed and you got rid of it you got rid of it and then that now Xbox who are sat on all these great titles and all these great licenses I sort of sat there just sort of like twiddling their thumbs like what are they doing what are they doing you know I, I presume Arcane was working on something and since Redfall's been out they've not just been sat there tickling their balls waiting to be told what to do they've been actually waiting to do stuff now again look I'm going to be perfectly blank perfectly honest it's sad and I, I am a little bit passionate about it I hope that's come across otherwise what's the point of speaking about it but Xbox just need to pull their finger out they need to sort their shit out stop closing down all these incredible Incredible game studios. Xbox Series S, for example. How many people have bought one of them? Why? I see, and Sarah Bond is. She's talking about the future of Xbox. There will be no future of Xbox if you keep doing this dumb, dumb stuff you're doing. We see tremendous growth there. They haven't, though. They've already admitted that they've been losing the battle and are slumping harder than a fat man sat on a show for his whole life. They are fudged. And they say, oh, you can jump in and play on the cloud. Who cares? Who cares? Gaming is not film. Gaming is not TV shows. You know, if you spend 30 minutes on a TV show and Netflix go, actually, this is rubbish. You don't have to watch it. If you start playing these games, you don't have to play them. But that's not what games should be should be about. The gaming industry was not broken. The gaming industry did not need fixing. And they've tried to fix something that was perfect. Yeah, games have increased in price. And yeah, it's, it's a bit shitty. But they've increased in price because they've got to make up for margins that they've lost elsewhere. It's annoying. Anyway, lads and ladies, I'm going to uh, call that a drift. Um, it's been a pleasure just chilling out with you. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think I'm just being a bit dramatic or do you think also Game Pass has really, really screwed the pooch with gaming in terms of, uh, you know, making other businesses do it? You know, Steam might bring one out soon. Hopefully not. Imagine that. Jesus Lord. Ugh. Anyway, best of luck to you. Enjoy yourselves. Let me know. Do you play Xbox? Uh, you know, I, I play, when I say I play Game Pass, I play on my computer, you know, because I've got a computer and not an Xbox. Why would I buy an Xbox when I have a computer? I have a PS5. Why would I buy a PS5 and an Xbox when I have a, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not got money. You know what I mean? I'm a poor little hobo, man. I, you know, I can't just buy everything. And that's why Game Pass is good in a way. But I also don't think it's done any benefits to gaming. Anyway, I could talk forever. I probably could. See you later, fellas and ladies and you gender neutrals.